Hello grade 4 learners, how are you? In this lecture, we're going to explain a new lesson, which is divisibility by 2, 5, and 10. So, first of all, you are going to learn the divisibility rules or tricks. So, we are going to learn together some tricks in order to determine the factors of a whole number. And specifically, we are going to learn the tricks for 2, 5, and 10. Now, what's the meaning of the word divisible? Divisible means that a number divides equally into another number. So if you divide this number by another number, the result is a whole number without a remainder. Or in another word, if you just do the division, the remainder is going to be zero. Let's see what this means. If we have four circles, we can divide 4 by 2. So this means we can make two equal groups or those four circles, every two circles in a group. So we are going to get two groups without any circle left alone. This means that 4 is divisible by 2. But what happens if we try to divide the 5 by 2? So suppose you have five circles every two in a group. That means one circle is going to be left alone. So we say that five is not divisible by two. So five is not divisible by two because the remainder is one. So one circle is left alone. So without sketching these circles and try to make them in groups, let us learn some special tricks that will help you to know when numbers are divisible by 2, 5, or 10. So let us start by the divisibility rule by 2, or the trick of 2. We say that a number is divided by 2, or divisible by 2, if the last digit, or the ones digit of this number, is even. Is even means the ones digit is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Let us take an example. Is 108 divisible by 2? Yes, it is, because it's an even number. How did we know? Because the ones digit is 8, and 8 is an even number. Let us continue. We have the number 23,589. Is it divisible by 2? It's not, because the ones digit is 9, and 9 is not an even number. Is 998,876 divisible by 2? Of course it is, because the ones digit is 6, and 6 is an even number. Now let us watch this video. It has a lot of exercises, so be ready to answer the questions. And then we are going to continue by another trick. Rules of divisibility 2. When you have to find the factors of a number, it helps to know a little bit of math magic. You may already be a cool math magician and not know it. Check this out. When you look at these numbers, do you know straight away which one has 2 as a factor? Did you pick this one? If you did, great! You are probably already doing the trick. I hope you didn't panic at the size of the numbers because the size doesn't make a bit of difference. No matter the size of the number, we know if a number is divisible by 2 or not by looking at the very last digit. We look at the 1's column here. If you have an even number, then it is divisible by 2. Odd numbers are not. So if your number ends in 2, 4, 6, 8 or 0, you know just from a glance it is divisible by 2. And if a number is divisible by 2, then 2 is a factor. I am going to show you some numbers and you are going to do the trick yourself. You are going to show your teacher whether 2 is a factor or not. Hold up your yes 
or no answer as soon as you think you know. Your teacher will pause the film until you answer. 7,542 12,871 543,296 298,434 Eight million seven hundred and sixty five thousand two hundred and fifteen. If you answered like this, yes, no, yes, yes, no, you have got it. Well done. If not, do you remember what I said? We just have to check this last digit here, the ones column. If it's an even number, then 2 is a factor. Now, if you are happy doing this math magic trick, it's time to show your teacher on paper. There are two parts to the work. Firstly, the magic part. You will be given a worksheet. Put a check mark beside each number that you think is divisible by 2 without a remainder. Use the trick of glancing at the ones column, like we practiced here. Do this part as quickly and carefully as you can, and then show your teacher you are done by putting up your hand. When your teacher has checked your magic skills, go ahead and divide by 2. Now, after learning the divisibility by 2, we are going to learn the divisibility by 5. And we say that a number is divisible by 5 if the last digit of the number is 5 or 0. Example, 99 is not divisible by 5 because the one's digit is 9, it's not 0 or 5. But 875, it's divisible by 5 because the one's is 5. 1280, it's divisible by 5 because the one's digit is 0. If you want to know more about this, just watch this video. And in this video, we are going to uh, look back for the multiplication table of 5 and you can see where did the 0 or 5 came from. So watch the video and then we are going to continue. Rules of Divisibility 5 in the next 30 seconds, we will see if you can tell, at a glance, if a number is divisible by 5. Check out these numbers. Think, don't say, which is divisible by 5. 325 5,788 71,320 if you think these numbers are divisible by 5, you're right. Here's how to spot the pattern. Look at the 5 times table. Every multiple of 5 ends in a 5 or a 0. Any number that ends in 5 or 0 can be evenly divided by 5, so 5 is a factor. And of course, it doesn't matter how big or small the numbers are. If it ends in 5 or 0, then 5 is a factor. Let's see if you can tell, at a glance, if any number in this next group has 5 as a factor. Hold up your yes or no answer to show your teacher what you think. Your teacher will pause the film to give you time to answer. Is 5 a factor of 132, 8,585, 22,928, 156,035? 6,500,000 If you said 
no, yes, no, yes, and yes, then you've got it. Now it's time for you to practice. There are two parts to the work. First, look at the numbers on the worksheet your teacher gives you and quickly put a check mark beside each number that has five as a factor. Hands up to show your teacher when you have finished this step. When your teacher has checked your at-a-glance work, go ahead and divide by five. And here we come for the last trick. It's about the divisibility by 10. And we say that a number can be divisible by 10 if the last digit is 0. So if the ones digit is 0, then the number is divisible by 10. So is the number 70 divisible by 10? Of course, because the ones digit is 0. Is the number 971 divisible by 10? It's not, because the ones digit is not 0, so it's not divisible by 10. And is the number 33,690 divisible by 10? Of course, because the ones digit, as you can see, it's 0. So all the numbers that have 0 on the ones digit are divisible by 10. And this number, 7,798, it's also divisible by 10. Uh, 7,798, it's divisible by 10. Does it have a 0 at the end? No. So this number is not divisible by 10. Also, we are going to watch the last video for this lecture, and then we are going to solve an exercise that includes everything. Rules of divisibility 10. In the next 30 seconds, we will see if you know how to tell, at a glance, whether a number is divisible by 10. Think it, don't say it. Are these numbers evenly divisible by 10? 500 4520 9305 If you think these numbers are evenly divisible by 10, you've got it! How did we get to those answers? Think about the 10 times table for a moment. Every product here ends in a zero. And any number, no matter how large, if it ends in a zero, then it is evenly divisible by 10. And if a number is evenly divisible by 10, then that means 10 is a factor. Let's see if you can tell with these numbers which has 10 as a factor. Remember, this is the at-a-glance trick you're doing here. You know the secret is all in the ones column. Hold up your yes or no answer as soon as you are sure. Your teacher will pause the film to give you enough time to answer. Ready? Is 10 a factor of 250, 6,270, 55,030, 577,825, and 5,180,208. If you answered yes, 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 no, and no, you've got it. Your teacher will give you written work next to show your understanding. First, do the at-a-glance trick we tried here. Look at each number. The digit in the ones column tells you what to do. Put a check mark beside each number that has 10 as a factor. After your predictions have been checked, go ahead and divide by 10. Now in this exercise, as you can see, we have the numbers 1825. It's not divisible by 2 because the ones digit is 5, so it's only divisible by 5. And it's not divisible by 10 because the ones digit is not 0. What about 346? It's divisible by 2 because the ones digit is even, but it's not divisible by 5 or by 10. 
Is it divisible by 2, 510? Of course, because um, the one's digit is 0. Is it divisible by 5? Yes, and it's divisible by 10. So, in order to get a number which is divisible by 10, they should have the number should be divisible by 2 and 5 at the same time. Don't forget this trick. And for the last number, which is 1108, it's only divisible by 2. So when a number is divisible by 2 and 5 at the same time, then it's divisible by 10. Don't forget that every number is divisible by 1, and every number is divisible by itself. And 1 is not divisible by every number.